So originally I've had a different video planned for today, but well, something happened yesterday, the knife ability test crosshair broke. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is knife ability test fault, it could be once again that Roblox messed something up and that the crosshair broke because of that. Wouldn't be the first time, so currently, like I said, the crosshair doesn't work. You just have a regular Roblox cursor, which doesn't really work too well in knife ability test. I've seen a lot of you guys complain about this as well, and I've made a video about this on my second channel. Feel free to check that one out, but in today's episode, I want to suggest a kind of solution for the time. While the crosshair doesn't work, I'm pretty certain it will be fixed within the next few days, hopefully. It would be very nice, but for the time, I have some kind of a solution. It doesn't really work too well, but it is a lot better than the regular cursor, so let's just dive right into this video. Alright, so there we go. We joined the server, and on screen right now, you can see how the crosshair normally looks like in knife ability test, and as you can see right here, we currently don't have the crosshair. We just have the default Roblox cursor, which isn't really that good, to be honest, and it's a bit weird to play with this one. Like I said earlier, I've seen a lot of people complain about it, and I can totally understand it, so I would say let's get to the temporary solution. I would also like to point out if you actually switch to the gear, you get this different cursor, and if you switch back, there you go, you just get the regular Roblox one. So now, of course, onto the temporary solution, so all you have to do is go into your in-game settings, so press escape, click settings, and turn on the shift lock switch, then of course, press the left shift key on your keyboard. Now your camera is kind of stuck, so just press it once again, and you have this very nice little cursor. I definitely want to mention, like I said earlier, it is not a perfect solution. If you switch as an example to the balloon or other gears, it actually goes away, which is very unfortunate. However, if you just use the gun like this, there you go. You actually keep this one. If you switch to your knife, you also still keep it. However, if you are someone that knife spams and knife ability tests, it will actually go away once you start knife spamming, so it's a little bit unfortunate. Definitely not a perfect solution, but it's definitely quite nice and I would say a really good temporary solution until of course the regular crosshair is back in knife ability test. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, stay hydrated, and I will see you of course in the next video. Bye guys.